Welcome to another episode by Membrane Health. I am Dr. Krishna Donaparthi, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about liquid butyrate. Butyrate is in the family of what are called short chain fatty acids. I spoke about fatty acids in episode number two. Check it out to get a refresher. Now for the scientific stuff. A fatty acid is a chain of carbon atoms, in this case four for butyrate, attached to which are hydrogen atoms, and ends with a double bonded oxygen and an oxygen hydrogen group. And this hydrogen usually dissociates and leaves a positive charge. And this positive charge is what makes it an acid. Depending on the number of carbon atoms in the chain, you can have short, medium, long, or very long fatty acids. Butyrate, like a few other supplements, are not supplements at all, but rather they are biological substrates. A biological substrate means it's something that is naturally made in the human body. You may be wondering how butyrate is made in the human body. It's, it is really quite simple. When we eat foods that have fiber, for instance vegetables, the bacteria in our digestive tract ferments the fiber here in the colon, and in the end result is butyrate. Okay, so now we have butyrate, but how does it work? There are many biochemical mechanisms that butyrate can activate. One of the more important ones they can activate is specialized proresolving mediators, or SPMs for short. SPMs act to resolve inflammatory responses. There are several different kinds of SPMs, resolvins, protectins, lipoxins, and maresins. Lipoxins are derived from arachidonic acid, the two major ones being LXA4 and LXB4. Whereas resolvins are derived from EPA, acosinopentanoic acid, DHA, docosohexanoic acid, and DPA, docosopentanoic acid. And finally, neuroprotectants and maresins are derived from DHA and DPA. So a quick summary about SPMs. We eat fiber, bacteria ferments the fiber, generating butyrate, or we can consume butyrate as a supplement. Otherwise, butyrate activates AA, EPA, DPA, DHA to generate SPMs. And these SPMs resolve inflammation. Ongoing research and clinical trials are investigating SPMs for a variety of different things, such as dry eye syndrome, eczema, hearing loss, asthma, neurodegenerative diseases, autoimmune diseases, psoriasis, atherosclerosis, diabetes, dementia, just to name a few. You cannot buy SPMs as some companies would make you believe. The reason for this is that naturally made SPMs in the human body have a very short half-life, meaning how long they last in the human body. Making them in the human body are the best forms, which is done by consuming butyrate or naturally generating butyrate. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit us at membranehealth.com. If you enjoyed this video, like us on Facebook, share this link, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.